This video describes how to connect to your iBox Nano using the USB stick method. This method should only be used if you have tried the WPS method described in the Quick Start Guide and Quick Start Video and have yet to successfully connect to your iBox Nano. To begin with this method, you want to first plug in a blank USB drive. You then want to go to files.iboxprinters.com and scroll down to the WPA supplicant.txt file. You must then right click on this and save it. I prefer to save it directly onto the drive that I want to use. It's very important that this drive is blank. Hit save. And now I'll go to the drive and open up the file that I just saved. In this, there is only two things that you should change. Changing anything else will result in a failure of this method. You want to change to the SSID of your network, which in this case, for me, is just Netis, and you want to type in the password for your network, which is a very clever password password, and just hit save. This file is now saved on your USB stick, and the stick is ready to be put into the iBox Nano. Now that you have edited and saved your WPA supplicant.txt file to include your SSID and your password for your network, you now close out the file, ensure that it's the only file on your USB jump drive, can eject the drive, and now it needs to be plugged into your Nano. Ensure that your Nano is shut down, unplug the power cord, take out the Wi-Fi dongle, and plug in your USB jump drive. You now want to plug the Nano back in and let it fully boot. This will copy the file onto the iBox Nano. Now that the Nano has fully booted, you can shut it down. Once the red light is solid and the green light's done blinking, it's fully shut down. Unplug it. Remove the USB jump drive. Put the Wi-Fi dongle back into the USB slot. And plug the Nano back in. Once the Nano reboots, it should connect to your network and display the IP address on the screen. If you've already attempted the WPS and USB stick methods of connecting your iBox Nano to your home network and are still facing issues, we offer some affordable solutions on the iBoxPrinters.com website. The easiest solution is the pre-programmed Nano Wi-Fi access point. With this access point, you can simply connect this access point to your current home router with the provided Ethernet cable and then plug the router into the wall. When you turn on your Nano, it will automatically connect to this access point and you'll have full access to all of its features. Another solution is the USB to Ethernet adapter. This adapter allows you to plug the iBox Nano directly into the router you already have. You can then access the iBox Nano from any computer on your network. We hope that these solutions help you have a positive experience with your iBox Nano. Links to all the products and the files.iboxprinters.com are provided in the description of the video.